Research shows there are five common mistakes that consumers make when shopping for a home mortgage. And in this video, we're going to break down each of those five mistakes and some secrets uh, that will save you some time, stress, and hopefully money in getting the right mortgage for you. So if that's of interest to you, stay tuned for the video. My name is Joel Gableman. I'm with Gableman Group. I've been selling real estate in Northeast Ohio for over six years. If you have questions about your specific needs, whether you're looking at buying or selling, you're relocating, upsizing, downsizing, whatever it is, feel free to reach out to us for a no cost, no obligation, free consultation. See if we can be of help. Our contact information is in the description and also in the screen you can go through our website, email, text, call, whatever is easiest for you. So let's get into the video. Mistake number one, not getting pre-approved. There are, a lot, I wouldn't say lots because I typically have an initial consultation with my buyers, but looking at homes, especially in this market, you want to make sure that you have a loaded gun. So if you see a house that you really love, you want to make sure that you could perform because in this market, when there might be, and oftentimes are multiple offers, when you're competing against another offer and they're pre-approved and you're not, you're just not putting yourself in a position of success. And, uh, you know, I do have clients that say to me, well, I want to wait. I want to, don't want my credit pulled. I'm looking for the perfect home. I get it. I, I get it. If you're looking at buying a house six months or more from now, wait. But if you're looking at buying a house within the next three or four months, definitely get pre-approved. Now, here's a little bit of a secret. If you get pre-approved with lender or broker A, that does not commit you to work with that lending institution. You might find that lender B down the street or online or whatever has a better program. You could definitely switch and go to a different lender for a better program. You just want to have a piece of paper that has you vetted. So when you put in an offer, we include in the offer, ideally proof of funds, offer and pre-approval. It's a nice package that gives that seller confidence when they're looking at your offer versus others. They feel much more comfortable moving forward with yours. Mistake number two people make is not considering the total monthly payment. What do I mean by that? Well, certainly you have your standard PITI, which is your principal, your interest, your taxes, and your insurance. The other payments you might have as well, if you're in a condo, you'll have HOA dues. If you're putting less than 20% down, it's possible you will have private mortgage insurance. If you are an FHA borrower, then you will have mortgage insurance as well. So make sure you understand the total monthly payments. Number three is thinking long-term. Even though rates are going up higher and higher, they're still incredibly cheap. I have some clients that are looking at ARMS, which are adjustable rate mortgages. Now, these are great programs, but if you're thinking about keeping the house long term, either you know it's a bigger home that you're planning for your family to live in there long term, or you think to yourself, well, it's a smaller home, but as your family grows, you're going to want to rent it out. So you're going to want to keep that money cost very cheap. Um, maybe you're looking at, uh, and it works in opposite ways too. If you buy a large house and you've got a big family, but a lot of the children are older and they might be moving out, maybe an arm does make sense. On the opposite side, if you're thinking about keeping the house long-term, keeping that mortgage long-term, locking in money cheaply today, then maybe an arm isn't the best program. So thinking long-term what your plans are for the house is going to determine which mortgage product you go with. A 30-year, 15-year, maybe an adjustable rate, maybe even interest only. My, uh, I have a family member, they're older, they wanna get as much bang for the buck. They wanna keep their payment low and they wanna get as much house as possible. They know rates are dirt cheap, they're going with an interest only loan. Their attitude is, I wanna keep my payments super, super cheap. If I wanna pay it down, I will, but I'm probably only gonna be here for five, six years, 10 years top, whatever that is, but they just want the absolute lowest payment knowing they're going to move out of that house in five to seven years and then move into a condo or whatever. So understand long-term what your plans are and then fit that mortgage product to your long-term plans. One of the things at Gableman Group we do is we partner with preferred vendors and part of our vendor pool are lenders. We have both brokers and direct lenders such as banks. We partner with the best of the best lenders out there. The reason is that they really just make us look good. The other thing is we've come across and I've come across too many situations where frankly, um, somebody who's inexperienced, doesn't know what they're doing, screws up a deal. I had a buyer of mine, a friend of mine was buying a condo, $430,000. The lender declined them. Um, I tried to have him at least have a conversation with one of our partners and he had a relationship already with a different bank, which is fine. There are outstanding lenders we don't know of. Um, 
this lender was a generalist and they declined his loan. So I reached out and spoke to the generalist and I said, oh, keep in mind, basic math. This was about a $430,000 condo. This individual was putting down over $100,000. They were putting down north of 20%. And I asked, why was the loan declined? And the answer was the debt to income, the monthly payment relative to the income coming in, and he was also self-employed, was too high. It was over 50%. So if he was making 10,000 a month, his monthly payments were north of 5,000 a month. That's 50% of his monthly income gross. And I said, well, how much more money would he have to put down to lower his mortgage, which would lower his monthly payment in order to qualify for the loan? And her answer was around $7,500. So think about this for a second. I had a client of mine that was buying a $430,000 condo, was putting down north of six figures as a down payment and rather than the lender saying, great news, we're already approved, the next steps are as follows, instead of putting down 100 and X dollars, it's gonna be 100 and X plus another 7,000, she just categorically declined him. Um, <laughs> so we have partner lenders that we work with that are experienced, they're specialists, they have usually access to outstanding programs. It doesn't cost any money, but at least you have somebody experienced that can run over different scenarios. So if you're interested, shoot us a text, call, email, whatever's easiest. Say you'd like to speak with one of the partners that we work with. We do not have any compensation by partnering you with some of these people, but at least we could put you in touch with somebody that could put you on track and give you some better guidance than uh, just a random person you get online or in your local branch. And super trick, if you want the best programs that are the lowest cost, the lowest rates, the only thing you have to do is like and subscribe to this video. Of course, I'm kidding, but it shows YouTube that you're getting some valuable content from this and other people can see it as well. So we appreciate you liking and subscribing. See other content and other videos that'll give you some tricks and tips along your journey of buying a home or selling a home. Mistake number four is understanding your payment. This is very much an overlap on the monthly payments, but again, I can't stress enough understanding the payments, understanding if there is homestead exemption on the taxes, understanding if the house has been renovated and the assessed value, which the taxes are based off online, is a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars less than what the current list price is. So you know the taxes will go up. Understanding your payments is critical. And finally, mistake number five, and I alluded to this, is work with a specialist. Do not work with a generalist. Don't work with the person that is at the teller line and working for small businesses and doing SBA loans and helping you with your financial planning and also, by the way, happens to mortgages. You really wanna work with a specialist who understands all the nuances, the different programs, and probably the most importantly can think creatively about your unique situation. Now, even if you make solid money and you've got excellent credit and you're buying a great home with no issues, it's worth speaking to a specialist that knows all the programs and can guide you at what works best for you. And those are the five mistakes that people often make in some tactics around avoiding some of those errors. Get pre-approved, know your monthly payment, think long-term. If you're gonna do an adjustable rate, a fixed 30 year, 15 year, 20 year, think through that process. Understand the mortgage payment. Understand if there is gonna be a change in taxes, if there's homestead exemption, HOA dues, the taxes, the insurance, the principal, the interest. Understand that whole monthly payment so you know what you're getting into and work with a specialist. I hope that you found value in this video. If you did, share a comment of what your thoughts were. If I missed anything, if you have questions, we read through all of our comments, even if we don't have time to answer them all. And if you're thinking about buying or selling a home in Northeast Ohio and want specific answers to some questions that are on your mind, even if they're general questions and it's a short, easy conversation, give us a call, text, email, go through our website. No cost or obligation, just give some information about your current situation to see if we can help. Contact information is below for our email and our website, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.